In lesson 2.13, you'll be learning about how to express your needs uh, as well as the purposes that you have for the things that you need. The idea of need, first of all, will be expressed by, uh, by the, the expression avoir besoin de. Now, the avoir, you undoubtedly recognize, is this idea right here. So what's that got to do with need? Well, what you're literally saying is to have need of something. Uh, avoir besoin de. So besoin is the noun need. Uh, um, now, let's try and remember the conjugations. Remember the conjugations of avoir. J'ai. Uh, that's an irregular, isn't it? Tu as. Il a. Nous avons. Vous avez. Et puis, ils ont, or elles ont. Now, actually, this concept, or this, this pronoun here, is il, as you know, in the plural, or elle. And this word, all by itself, is on, the word for have here. So, we, individually, these words are il on, or elle on. However, this, this consonant right here, there's an S at the end of il and elle, which normally is silent, but when followed by a word beginning with a vowel sound, like on, it will become pronounced, and it creates what's called that liaison, that connection between the two words. So il and on together become ils ont, and the, the feminine elles ont. Okay? So again, j'ai, tu as, il a, elle a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, elles ont. Now, the word besoin, since it's a noun, will not change in its form in any way. Whether I say je or tu or il, no matter who needs something, I will say besoin. So, j'ai besoin de, tu as besoin de, il a besoin de, besoin does not change. Now, the de you hear me saying is the, this is the word for, or excuse me, is the word of. J'ai besoin de, I have need of. So, j'ai besoin de, and now we're going to express the thing that I need. Uh, which is, in this case, we'll say, uh, I need money to see a movie. Uh, so, j'ai besoin de l'argent. Or if I say that you need money, tu as besoin de l'argent. Or he needs money. Il a besoin de l'argent. We need money. Nous avons besoin de l'argent, etc. You notice the only thing which changes uh, um, is the avoir between those statements. The verb avoir. J'ai besoin, tu as besoin, il a besoin, nous avons besoin, etc. So only avoir will change. So let's go back to the original statement. Uh, uh, I need money to see a movie. J'ai besoin de l'argent. And now I'm going to express, uh, I'm going to initiate the idea of the purpose, explain the purpose. And I do that with the word pour. Pour, which would correspond in English to the word to or in order, the expression in order to. Okay? J'ai besoin de l'argent pour. And now, Here's the purpose itself, the action. I want to see a movie. The key is, in what form will this verb appear when, when I say uh, to see? Well, it'll be in the original infinitive form. That's the long version, you might say, for the mo most part. Um, the way in which I taught it to you initially. What was the way in which I taught this to you initially? Yeah, the word is called voir. So the expression would be, j'ai besoin de l'argent. Pour, here's the, his purpose now, voir, and then the rest of the sentence, a movie, un film. Now, there's a principle here to, to bear in mind, which is really bigger than just this particular sentence structure here. Why do I say voir? Why don't I say voir, or voyons, or voyez? Why don't I conjugate the verb? The key is, whenever in French you um, uh, have a verb which is not accompanied by a, a, a pronoun of some kind, a subject, someone performing the action, put it in its original infinitive form, unless it's a structure you, uh, which will be explained to you later. Uh, almost invariably, it will be in the original infinitive form. Okay? Uh, so if there's no subject, no one, it's, if it's not I see, you see, he sees, she sees, you're just saying to see. Use the original form of the verb. Don't change it. Uh, say it the way in which I taught it to you initially. So, j'ai besoin de l'argent pour voir un film. Listen to that sentence again, and then listen to the, the, the three other, uh, two or three other examples I'll give you afterwards. J'ai besoin de l'argent pour voir un film. Uh, il a besoin de l'argent pour voir un film. Nous avons besoin de l'argent pour voir un film. Vous avez besoin de l'argent pour voir un film. One word changed in that entire expression. 
Which one was it? Well, it was the verb avoir. That's the only thing which changes as they go from one subject to the next. Everything else in the expression will stay the same. Je will become, uh, il a will become, nous avons will become, vous avez, but the rest of the expression stays the same. Okay, hopefully that's enough of a, an introduction of this topic for you, this particular type of sentence structure. You'll see in uh, lesson 2.13, you'll see Michael expressing, he's a very needy person, a very demanding person too, as you already know, and Michael will uh, be expressing a number of uh, needs to me, and I will try to ask him for justification for his flimsy requests, and he will explain why he thinks he needs these things. Okay, you may now go to lesson 2.13.